Доброго дня, шановні колеги. Сьогодні ми запросили до виступу Олів'є Ведрі. Economy School in Dragovanov University, and he will point out to you the importance of today's events in Ukraine for the future of Europe. And it's my pleasure to give the floor to Mr. Vedran. I speak in English, and uh, after that, uh, I be free to ask me question. Okay. Um, than my declaration. I arrived in Ukraine uh, since more than two years now, invited at the beginning uh, by a cousin because I have family in Ukraine and in Russia. I came in Kiev to build a business school with uh, European standards with my partner Viktor Petrovich Andrushenko, director of the National Pedagogical Dragomanov University. The first year was not simply simple because uh, of the bureaucracy of the Ministry of Education in Ukraine. The revolution arrived and very quickly I joined my Ukrainian friend. I had already given several lectures on European Union in university in Kiev before the beginning of Maidan. It is therefore very natural that I became an activist. I spoke several times on the Sena of Maidan I have organized the visit on Maidan of my friend Henri Malos, the president of the European Economic and Social Committee. Why I did Maidan? I just saw from the beginning that my Ukrainian friends fought for the value in which I believe. And I have seen next to the Ukrainian flag the flag of the European Union, my flag. I was the most part of the time at the trade union's house. I also went on the Independence Square. I discussed with the people on the barricades. I quickly understood that this revolution was at first a revolution for Ukraine to change the system. More and more, the fight was not only to go to the European Union, nor to oppose to Russia, but increasingly, this fight was a fight for Ukraine, for a new Ukraine. The war in the east of Ukraine, supported by a foreign country, on the line that the Ukrainian revolution is a choice to live in another system. This fratricidal war in the Donbass is the proof that Putin has understood that he could not let Ukraine go easily. That if he can no longer dominate Ukraine, then he has to weaken Ukraine. And the war in the East weakens Ukraine. Putin understood that Maidan is a declaration of refusal of his system. More Ukraine will be developed rapidly, more the system of power in Russia will be threatened and will be forced to do some reforms to avoid a Maidan in Moscow. Europe must be united in peace and be sure that our differences are the source of our strong Europe. The example of the Franco-German friendship should help us to build a peace and united Europe. We have to win this political and military war in Ukraine. At first for Ukraine and its independence, and secondly for Europe. This is a war between two systems between the system of the European Union, based on democracy, human rights, press freedom, against the system based on authoritarianism, 
and corruption and Soviet way of thinking. We have to cut all the continental Europe from the Soviet heritage. We can only build a common space from Lisbon to Vladivostok under the value of democracy, human rights, press freedom, equality, gender, solidarity, and dialogue. I want on also, during this press conference, to speak about the pro-Putin people in the European Union and in France. Yes, I can speak about international law and the annexion of Crimea is illegal. But please, I want to underline this pro-Putin way of thinking. Pro-Putin members are against Russia. Pro-Putin's members are against the Russian people. To be for Putin is to be for an underdeveloped Russia with bad transport, bad roads, bad university, old and inefficient hospitals. To be for Putin is to be for Russia with corruption, prostitution, alcoholism, violence. To be for Putin is to think that the Russian people can only live like slaves under authoritarian regime, like zombie. To be, for, to be for Putin is to come back to the past, to the Soviet Union, is to give no future for the new generation, to be for Putin is to be for the war in Ukraine. To be against Putin is to be for, Re for Russia, for the Russian people, is to be for change in Russia to make this country a modern European democratic state, is to give for the new generation a future. To be against Putin is to be for peace in Ukraine. In France and in the European Union, a large part of the citizens are in favor of Ukraine and are afraid about Putin. But the extreme right and extreme left political parties are more pro-Putin. Why? At first, they are against the European Union. And the European Union is for Ukraine. They want a strong leader. For a part of them, they are against Western democracy and human rights. They think that Putin is the chance for Europe. The strong leader they are waiting for. In those political groups, the propaganda of Putin is very efficient and strong. Those political groups are also very proactive and organized in communication and media. And they know how to use internet network like Facebook or Twitter to share their opinions and the propaganda of the Kremlin. How to face them? We have to use the same tools. We have to present in media, we have to be present in media and social network. We have to communicate on the facts and only on the facts. We have to be present explain and defend our value. We have to do pedagogy based on simple... Я потрібно показати прості приклади. В, в Росії та в Європейському Союзі нам також є потрібно управляти аргументами з, з, з іронією та гумором. Для того, щоб підірвати пропаганду, нам потрібно стати прості запитання. Наприклад, чому російські політики, ви відносите, коли... коли Багато їдуть, їдуть жити в Європі, чи, чи багато росіяни посилають своїх дітей навчатися в ЄС або в, або в США. Вони, стов, вони створюють а, п'яту колону, вони агенти. Давайте поговоримо про деякі уряди парадоксів. Для того, щоб завершити цю прес-конференцію, давайте поговоримо по а, ситуації в Україні. Україна має виграти дві війни. Перша війна – це на Сході, на Донбасі. Для того, щоб поперемогти нам в Україні потрібно, дійсно потрібно ні, більш ніж оборони озброї і більш ніж санкції США та Європи. Путін буде продовжувати це робити в Україні через те, що війна незалежна Україна – це загроза йому, загроза системи в Росії. Як колишній КГБ, як ви знаєте, він знає, як брехати та маніпулювати. Нам потрібно, нам потрібно, не потрібно вірити в те, що він говорить, нам потрібно вірити і бачити, і дивитися, що він робить. Він не розуміє, як півсора совєтський лідер, тільки, тільки силу брутальної, е, мову брутальної сили. Він вірить в минуле, в нього ностальгія за Радянки з Друга, війна в Україні, підтримка війни в Україні, це, це потім Друга війна в Україні, це війна проти корупції time Ukraine has to fight in the Donbass and against corruption. The more Ukraine will have success, 
in the fight against corruption, the more Ukraine will have success in the war in the Donbass. Corruption makes the state inefficient. And to win the war in the east of Ukraine, you need an efficient state. The victory against corruption will make at the same time the victory in the Donbass and build a new Ukraine. Thank you. I am waiting your answer. Your question. <laughs> If there is any question, I will ask the first question. Um, I have two questions mm -hmm. for you. First one is about, I, I do like your thesis about that being pro-Putin means to be anti-Russia. Mm -hmm. It's against Russia to be pro-Putin. How do you see the Russia future, especially now when there is a kind of hope that Putin will Will be right. I think I think that in the Kremlin uh, we will uh, we have a big fight between uh, can I say uh, the, the Putin group and um, the reformist group pro-European. Can you provide any names? Some names. Uh, I think. Uh, I don't have like that some names, but uh, some I, some Ivanov, some, some Ivanov, yeah. Um, and I think this. I think um, when uh, Nemtsov was killed, that was the um, red line. Uh, before uh, before uh, that, um, uh, Putin uh, had a lot of tools, but now, because of the death of Nemtsov, uh, Putin lost the game. Because the radicalism in uh, Russia now is against Putin. The violence who began in Russia now is against Putin. And really, the, in the Kremlin, and uh, I spoke with some friend, uh, uh, Professor at Klomanosov University, they say that they, you have now a big war and, uh, in, in the power in Russia. And the pro-European, the person who wants to do reforms now uh, are fighting. And I hope they, they will win. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sorry, my English is very bad. Can I uh, ask a question? <laughs> um, comment analysez-vous la tactique militaire mise en place uh, dans l'est de l'Ukraine? Uh, Est-ce que vous pensez uh, qu'une ville comme Mariupol est, est par exemple en danger en ce moment? Est-ce que, est que vous pensez que, que la Russie, que Poutine a vraiment... Uh, uh, autant que ça a la main sur ces gens-là? Ou est-ce que vous pensez que ces gens-là accepteront d'arrêter de se battre? I, I, I think Putin, Putin has not uh, really. He, he, he has not all the tools to for the crisis in Donbass because a lot of separatists are like uh, very free, and they they um, they are not all of them are not under the Putin uh, power. You know? And I think we will assist. Some, um, we will assist. We will see some terrorist act independent from the Putin policy or from the Moscow policy, some radicalism. Uh, and now my opinion is that uh, the strategy of Putin was really, I, this is for Putin, what's happened in Donbass is a defeat. Because the strategy, he was supposed to go to Kiev at the beginning. And they were surprised that the people didn't support. And they, that's why they bring a lot of Russian soldiers. And this is a defeat. They only, excuse me, they only took Donetsk and the, and this, the part of the oblast of Donetsk. This is a defeat. This is the defeat of the Russian army of the Putin Russian army. And this is the defeat, the personal defeat of Putin. 
And with Nemtsov, when he killed Nemtsov, because we know that he killed Nemtsov, that was the red line. And now, for, for Putin and for Russia and for the system of the Kremlin, the question is how we can stop and how we can leave this bad situation. They need a solution. They need a solution that they can expand to the people. We stop. And a solution they can explain to the international community. They have to find a solution to escape from this bad game. And I think, I can do some prospective, but I think Putin is not the man who can find this solution. And we will see, I think, so very quickly other people in the power in Russia. I'll ask you another question, probably. You mentioned this, uh, at the end of your discourse, you mentioned this uh, second war in Ukraine, which is an internal war uh. against corruption yeah. and for European values. Um, can you please give some specific examples of this, of the problems you encounter in Ukraine, because you've lived in Ukraine for already two years, mm -hmm. and um, what kind of problem do you see here? and which has to be resolved in the nearest future. I, I, I did a conference in the Minister of Justice about corruption. And uh, the first law I say you have to do is uh, to uh, do a law um, um, for tax. That means in France, when I pay tax, I have to prove the root of, a, of my income from where my income come from. And if I cannot prove, I am guilty. But this is to me to prove that I am not guilty. In Ukraine, this is the administration to prove that you are not guilty. And this is incredible. That means I can say that, uh, and I have a lot of examples, I, I can say I have only, uh, uh, I, uh, I can say uh, $1,000 per month, and I have, uh, uh, $15,000 per month. But you have to prove in Ukraine that I am guilty. In France, no. You have to <laughs> prove that you are not guilty. And in France, when you're, you know, in Ukraine, for example, a lot of persons say that they have only uh, 500 uh, euro or 1,000 euro per month, and they have uh, uh, Toyota Sequoia, uh, Land Rover, and all that. And it's okay. In France, they, s they see that and they see your income. See, what, can you explain to me, with $1,000, you can have a Land Rover, a, a Toyota Sequoia, a, one Dacia, two apartments? Can you explain? Then, okay, I will calculate your tax on what you have, your car and your apartment. And if you are not agree, Please prove yeah, that you are not guilty. This is in France. And you have to do the same in Ukraine, really. Because without a law against corruption, and really a law, because you have all the law, but you don't have the process. All the law are in Ukraine. All the laws are in Ukraine court, but not the process. Come on, when, uh, when you do, um, when you say to a person you are corrupt, and this person says, I am cardiac, I have an outbreak, outbreak. then they stop the process. This is incredible. And for me, the, the, this, this fight is very important, and the first law is to prove the income. Probably the last question about, well, Maidan is over, you know, Maidan is mm. over for already several months. Do you see any significant improvements in our situation? I mean, with corruption, with whatever, with high education, you are implied in this business school. Uh, so any kind of progress? Uh, for my example, uh, under uh, Tabashnik administration, uh, I had a lot of problems. Now it's more easy.
this is my example. Now it's really more easy because really the, they, they really want a more European standard in education. But on the Tabash thing, that was awful, really awful, for me especially. Uh, and for Maidan, yes, I think the, you know, the, the wave, the spirit of Maidan uh, is, is, is still in the population. And what is important is that the people believe in this uh, spirit of Maidan, in, in the values of Maidan. Because now the people, people in Ukraine know that, that they have the power. And that's very different from the past. In the past, they think that uh, uh, the only the elite has the power. But now, because of Milan, they okay, we can take the tools, we have the power, we have the, the, the values of Maidan. And that's very important. This is a big change. And now, a government cannot and will not do the same that uh, in the past, because the people is here. And this is really the beginning of a civil society. And that's for me it's very, um, very nice to see the beginning of civil society. And this civil society uh, now is making more and more pressure to have result. And for me, this is only the beginning and that will take years, but this is the good beginning. And this is because of Maidan.